friends, this is Crimson Pleasure, and welcome to Meeple Station. Something I am looking forward to. Alright, let's do the tutorial, because the game told me to. Hey you, what's this mess? You call this a space station? Pathetic. Your Meeple will probably end up dead. Before we can fix, uh, hope to fix anything, we need to appoint a captain. Okay. Totally. Find Slug as captain. I totally didn't screw this up already. Totally I'm doing this for the first time. Captain needs to be confident and social. Without them, we can't delegate jobs to our other meeple. They're clearly too important to do any real work, so their skills aren't important. We're going to need an engineer. Uh, we use them to construction salvage uh, structures like hull segments and dining tables. Okay. Select Giro. Engineer. Okay, Del diligent meeple make... Good, make good engineers. They work much quicker now. Let's start fixing up this pile of junk. Okay. We're going to reconnect something. Power cables. There we go. Okay, and now we have to let it go. Alright, so it's going to get fixed. So, Meeple Station, I'm sorry. Uh, Meeple Station is Early Axis Strategy Simulation Indie RPG. Great, now we won't suffocate and die. I'm surprised you made it this far. You look pretty useless. Now we need to do some work outside the station, which means you'll need a suit rack so your meeples can go outside. All right, suit rack coming right up. Right here. I don't know that from experience. Sorry. Oh, God. So this is my kind of game so far. I love um, I love like m resource management building sim type games. Now our maple will be able to go outside. Make sure you have a bulkhead near each airlock. The last thing we need is to vent the entire station. Notice that some of our solar panels aren't working? Of course you didn't. That's why I'm here. Let's connect them. You can create rigging to connect circuits outside of the station. I'll show you. Okay. Rigging. Then that. Uh, all right, let's put the other people to work. We need a miner. And Murray is going to be our miner. Okay, miners work fast. They're strong. Uh, it's also lonely in space, so they'll need to be happy on their own. Probably should mention you use... Yes. Okay. You also use Q and E to go up and down. Um, well done. It's not that difficult, genius. No, you probably get lost. Remember, you can use the H key to recenter. Already did that. Okay. I was just wondering what the structures were. That's fine. I did that. See how easy it is? Piece of cake. Probably haven't noticed yet because you're clearly not very bright. We don't have enough food or beds. Alright, so we gotta build a fish tank. Which I think is a pretty, pretty morbid way but of doing it. Oh, no. Fish tank. Rotate. Alright, fish tank needs to get built. Built, 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 build. Now we're producing food, we need to make some beds. Resources. Okay, now we need to make a refiner. Dillip. Finer. Refiners work best if they're social, they chatty little things. They'll automatically create the resources request. Let's give a refiner some orders. Okay. Order. No. 20. Add. Took you long enough. Let's wait for him to make at least 10 before we can continue working. Okay, so let's try speeding it up some. So this is where the refining happens. Uh huh. The only problem with pixel, pixel graphics, they don't do so well zoomed in. Now we have enough resources to construct a proper bed, not a cheap basic rubbish bed. Let's make another bed. I won't help you with this time. You need to do it on your own. Okay. Let's 
build. Furniture. Good. Did you fall asleep? What took you so long? The captain is getting very cranky, but he doesn't have his own private room. You don't need to assign a private room to all of your meeple, but officers come first, you twit. Fortunately, we have an adequate room uh, already vacant. Let's assign it to your captain immediately. Remember, officers like to have their own private dining table and chairs as well, not just a bed. Okay, so... Assign quarters to Slug. That should keep him happy for now. Let's get on with business. It's time we let the rest of the quadrant know we're open for trade. Do you guys keep slaying slimes? Uh, we have a docking. Granny Buds uh, isn't enabled for trade yet. Let's do that now. Okay. Oh. Maybe they're aliens? Not entirely sure. What? Collect the docking bay. What? Do I have to build it? What is the wait? Where is the docking bay? Wait, is this it? Okay, enable trade. Wait for the trade ship. Remember, you can change the game speed at the bottom right. I know. Okay. All right, we have a ship to trade with. New meeples have arrived. When we have enough uh, enough beds and a good rep enough reputation, we attract new migrants. You may notice the station looking a bit messy. Meeples are slobs, in case you haven't noticed. You saw this by the janitor. Let's do that now. Okay. Fuck it. That's a good name for a janitor. You have to wait till uh you. You want to have diligent janitors. There's nothing worse than a messy station. Your janitor will automatically clean up messes created now that you've started to get the hang of it. Let's try your own test test on your own. Before we can research new technologies, we'll build a laboratory, but we don't have enough resources. You'll need 10 to uh, uh, be able to construct a laboratory and try and trade for it or find it yourself. Okay. Okay, so how do I... Uh... Perfect. Now we have the resources to build a laboratory. Let's get started. Okay. Um, build. Structures? Modules? Laboratory. Important going on in here, so... Okay. Sure. Why can't I build it down there? Jerks. Not bad at all. Now that we have a laboratory, all you need are scientists. Unfortunately, you can't assign that role yet. We need a head of management to be able to assign but we don't have enough meeples to spare. You'll need to build more beds to allow for more migrants to join our station. Create a few more beds and let's attract... I only have room for one more. So, uh, let's... okay, furniture. Okay, I ha I need more... okay, I need to refine... no, I need to refine some more stuff. Refine. Okay. Uh, unless I just get it from him. 
Alright, and then we go, we, no, down. Nope, not research. B for build. Bed. Okay. Uh, yeah. I guess I could build, like, another thing. Another bedroom. Another barracks. Buy trade ship. Okay. Let's wait till we get a new meeple. Meeples are fun! So this game is $19.99 on Steam. And so far I'm having fun. It's a lot to learn. But these games always are. Alright. So I'm going to get past the tutorial. I'm going to be adding this game to my, uh, my little, hey, I really enjoyed playing this. Let's hang out with this for a while games. So I'm going to, uh... Add this to, like, con Colony Survival and, and some other ones. Not only have you acquired a new migrant, but you also acquired a new rank. As your re renown grows, you may notice a new rank every so often in the top left. Yay! The new rank you can assign to Head of Management, which allows you to begin researching new technologies. Let's do that. Okay. Head of Management. I only have one. Now we can finally assign some scientists for research. You can wait for another migrant uh, or reassign one of your existing meeples to the scientist role. Um, I guess I'll resign like my this dude. Yeah. Now that we have scientists, we can research new technologies. An important technology we need is the shield generators. We should research immediately before we get hit meteors by meteors or pirates. I have questions about the pirates. Uh, okay, shield generator. Shield generators. Start research. Your scientists will slowly uh, work their way to research, researching your chosen technology, but it'll take some time. While we wait, let's begin getting the resources we need to construct a shield generator. It's a costly construction, and you obviously need my help. The main resource we need is Crowley, and we'll need a lot. Let's acquire at least 30 more while we wait for the research to finish. Okay. That's almost all done. That's what we need. Or I could buy it. Nope, oh, that's not it. All right, that's enough. Let's go ahead and build the shield generator. It's not done. Come on. Research faster! Research faster. See, in my mind, we'd have to have a whole separate building for that. Not building, room. Room for everything, and everything for a room. What are you slackers just hacking, hanging out in the captain's office for? The captain's room. The weirdos. Alright. That's done. So we can build the shield generator now. Structures? No. Modules. Shield generator. Okay. 
that I guess that's my transformer. Oh, that's why we couldn't build down there. We need this. Shield generator requires advanced power to generate shield. That's what the transformer is for the only problem is that our transformer requires regular power. We need to connect the transformer to our power network, and there are two ways to do it, either with indoor cables or with outdoor rigging. As long as the cable or rigging tile is adjacent to the transformer, it will supply with power. I know it's not the brightest tool in the shed. I know you're not the brightest tool in the shed, but you'll need uh, to con connect your paint power grid. Okay, so we need to connect the transformer. Um, I don't know how to do that through... Can we do that through... Power. Power and fuel. Okay. Can, like... I think rigging is going to make the most sense here. Um... Think. I think that's all I need. I'm not entirely sure. Oh no, I need much more than that. What was I thinking? There we go. Is that an alien or a monster? That's neutral. Okay. Excellent! Now we're generating shields just in the nick of time. A batch of meteors are headed this way. Ooh. New achievement! Is that it? Congratulations! By from some freak accident, you survived the tutorial. This covers most of the basics, but there is plenty more to discover. You can always challenge yourself with more campaigns or play classic mode to rule the galaxy. Try not to die. Awesome! Okay, so this game is in early access, I think. Yes, this game is still in early access. It's 1999. I'm having a lot of fun. Um, and this is this only came out in January of this year, so that's wonderful. So, yeah, so I had a lot of fun. I hope you had a lot of fun. Um, if you want to see me try out the gameplay without the tutorial, I'd be more than happy to do that. You just let me know. Um, and as I said, I am enjoying this. I enjoy this kind of game, so I really am interested to see what else it has to offer. Um, I hope you had fun. I had fun. Uh, check this game out on Steam, definitely. I give it my thumbs up. And I will see you next time. Okay, thanks, bye. Thanks so much for watching. If you were entertained by that video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more wacky zany content here at Real Women Gaming. And uh, oh, here are two randomly selected videos that YouTube thinks you enjoy. There's uh, there's this special awesome one over here on the left and there's this crazy wonderful one over here on the right. So you just, uh, just, just click, 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 click on, just, just click on one of them. Just click on one of them.